starting. I would like you guys to look in this direction, please. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to write down the steps to solve the law of sines. We started it yesterday. Let's make sure we have clear steps. So first, this is when we're dealing with the law of sines. Okay, I'm going to have this permanently up on the board as well, but having it here would be good. And we know the law of sines is like sine A over little a equals sine B over little b equals sine C over little c. Okay, now I'm going to have step one. Label sides A, B, C. Okay. Two, what are you trying to find? Okay. Three, pick two from above and plug in. Four, cross multiply. Five, divide, and there's only a six step if you're looking for an angle. So six is only if I'm looking for an angle. So if trying to find an angle, use inverse sine. Questions? Okay, we're gonna use this information to do a problem from today's homework. So this whole packet, you're gonna work on today in class and for homework, what you don't finish, okay? So I'm gonna do one regular problem and then I'm gonna do one story problem because we haven't done story problems yet. Okay, so we're right here for number one. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at my steps. I'm gonna label them. So I've got little a, little b, little c, and I'm looking for, it says find c. So which other one has an angle and a side besides c? A. So I'm going to go sine a over little a equals sine c over little c. Now I'm going to plug it in. Sine 77, can I help somebody? Are we being quiet right now and listening? If you have a question or you can't see, please move up. So sine 77 over 15 Shh. equals sine 23 over C. So far so good? Okay, now what do I do next? What says, what's step number four? Cross multiply. Remember what's on the bottom you put in front? Okay, so we get C sine 77 equals 15 sine 23. Now I'm going to divide by sine 77 on both sides. Okay, and I'm going to put this in my calculator. 6.01. 6.02. Because it says round to the nearest hundredth, and I've finished. Questions, comments, concerns? So which step do you guys feel like you're getting lost on? Because you seem to divide and cross multiply pretty good. Is it picking which things to use? Yeah. Okay. So we need more practice picking what to use. All right, let's turn to a story problem. Let's do 22. Okay, fire towers A and B are located 10 miles apart. They use the direction of the other towers as zero degrees. Rangers at fire tower A spot a fire 42 degrees, and rangers at fire B spot it at 64 degrees. How far from tower A is the fire? So I am looking for right here. 
That's what it's telling me. So if this is A, this is little a. If this is B, this is little b. If this is C, this is little c. We good so far? Okay. Now here's the problem. I know I'm going to have to use B, but I can't use A because I don't have side A, but I have side C. So that means I'm going to have to find angle C, correct? How am I going to do that? 180 minus 64 minus 42. 180 minus 64 minus 42. If you have two angles of a triangle, you always can find the third angle by subtracting from 180. Okay? So we get 74. So we're going to use, so do you get now why we're using B and C? C had a side that I could use. I didn't have any other sides. All right. So now I'm going to use sine C over little c equals sine B over little b. So I'm going to go sine 74 over 10. Who's ever music is playing or phone is playing or whatever? Can we turn that off? That would be great. Sine B is sine 64 over B. Now I'm going to do what? I'm going to cross multiply. B sine 74 equals 10 sine 64. Yes, that is a train making that up. It's okay. What do I do next? Divide. Divide by sine 74, right? Because I want B all by itself. And then I'm going to put this in my calculator. I'm going to hit the control divide button. 10. Sine 64 divided by sine 74 gives me 9.35 miles. Questions, comments, concerns? Okay, the rest of this packet you're gonna work on class today. What you don't finish becomes homework. Um, if you guys are concerned, I might start with the story problems. Okay, if you're worried about those in class because you can ask me questions. Okay?